Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple customized macrame plant hair. The material I am using today is cotton cord. First, we need to cut four cotton strings, each is about 3 feet or 90 centimeters. I like using long strings because I can always cut the extra at the end if they are too long. Lay out the four strings and fold them in half, so now we have eight strings. Let's make a knot at the top. This part is what you are going to hang onto your hook. Make sure each string is tight and all the strings are so type of organized. Here we go, it's our first knot. Find a hook and hang it onto a hook, fix it somewhere. We need to find out where you would like to have the first layer of knots. We pick two random strings and knot them together. Make sure the knot is tight. Once we have a knot at a layer, the rest is easy. Repeat the same step for the rest six strings to make the other three knots. Make sure they are aligned and at a similar level. To make a customized macrame plant hair, I like to use my pot, which is 6 inches wide and 5 inches tall in this case, to find out where the second knot layer should be. Different from the knots in the first layer, where we tied random two strings to make a knot, the knots in the second layer need to come from the adjacent strings. So, we need to make sure we pick the right strings. But, similar to the first layer, once we have the first knot in this layer, the rest is just to repeat the same step over and over again, until we have all the knots for this layer. My pot is relatively small. You can see that two layers of knots are enough to hold it. So I'm going to make the final knot at the bottom of the pot. This final knot is exactly the same as the top knot we made at the very beginning. It has to be tied because your lovely plant will be sitting on top of it. What I typically do is to tighten one string at a time. This also helps you organize the strings so the knot will look a little bit nicer. Alright, it's done. Let's see if it fits our pot. You can cut the bottom strings if you don't like them to be long. Here are my plants in the hangers that I made. I really hope you find it useful and enjoyed watching this video.